Hey Carson, it's great to see you in Barcelona and great to catch up with you. So much has happened since the last time I saw you. Absolutely. The run is changing at a really fast pace, but what do you think are the concerns that operators face at this point? Yes, so what we are currently facing or our customers uh, are facing is um, that we have to operate in a, in a flat a market environment and we need to become more efficient to still grow the bottom line uh, of our businesses. And here uh, AI and automation comes into play in operating uh, a mobile network. Yeah, and this is very interesting because you guys have been talking about AI for a long time. But now it seems like it's actually getting ready to go. Absolutely. Ready. We're not just talking about theory. So what is what's happening here? Yeah, absolutely. In the, in the AI rack. Yes, absolutely. So NetScout um, AI products are ready for shipment. So we are totally ready in um, getting the products out to help our customers. So we are not um, yet uh, fully automated in, in the RAN space, but we can provide some help in operating um, the, their, their RAN operations. That's very good, but I would really like to hear from you what is that you can concretely do today to help operators? Because there's always like, it's easy to say you can do something. What is that you can help them do? Absolutely. So we basically have uh, focused on the three main silos in operating a RAN network. This is capacity, this is mobility, and subscriber and services. And for those three silos, we have developed uh, AI digital assistance to help them uh, um, yeah, be more efficient in, in this um, operation environment. Absolutely. So, and, so this is really getting to the point where it's something which is not generic AI, it's AI that is very specific. So, and this is to improve efficiency, right? So how do you improve it? Where, where are the areas, specific areas, where yes. you can improve efficiency more yes. efficiently? <laughs> yes, yes, so absolutely. So in, in those three areas, we are helping the existing RAM teams to be more efficient as we are pinpointing uh, two direct concrete issues uh, in, in their uh, environment. So the, the AI engine basically is finding the needle in the haystack for them, for example, where are ping pong handovers happening, where is the PCI conflict, uh, where are swapped sectors, how are my, my carriers working together, the multi-carriers, the, the uh, band combinations, what devices are suffering from multi-band uh, operations, uh, what cells are uh, having issues with uh, certain types of, of carrier aggregation. And this is very hard to detect on, on a manual, uh, uh, in a manual way uh, on millions of cells or, or millions of calls a day. So this is where AI comes into play and helping the, the existing RAN operations teams to be more efficient to directly pinpoint on look at this cell, this has an issue with a ping pong handover or a certain band combination is not performing well. Absolutely. So you're going deeper and deeper, and more concrete, and to de de deliver new uh, tools. If we look at the future, what is coming up? Yeah, that's that's a very good question. So what we are doing is uh, we are continuously investing into uh, more AI in in the RAN space. So we are training uh, in large language modules. Uh, in the upcoming future. So this is basically our vision where, where we are seeing the RAN space and AI. Absolutely. So do we need the 5G, 6G, or are we ready to go already? Well, that's, that's as well a good question. We need to monetize uh, 5G first. And this is coming back to our first question here. So we are still operating in a rather flat uh, market environment in which uh, we need to uh, monetize our 5G investments first and be more efficient in investing in uh, RAN op automations uh, before we can think about business models in, in 6G. Also, 3G PP is working hard uh, to, to deliver a, a 6G standards. So let's see what, what the future holds for us. Absolutely, Karsha. Thank you so much. And we'll come back <clears throat> next year to see what actually we have achieved. That would be Absolutely. a great thing. Have a great show. Thank you very so, much. You too. Bye-bye.